I've been out here since 2017, so I didn't seen the ups, I didn't seen the downs, I seen everything. So most definitely getting a bow ring that that really mean a lot. Having that hardware. Ronnie Awad has, as he said, been through it all as a UTEP minor tonight. He's playing in maybe the most important UTEP football game in seven years. Here we go. Some scenes from the Sun Bowl tonight. I've never seen this in four years covering the team. Lines of people waiting to get into the Sun Bowl. It's a welcome sight for this program. Over 18,000 fans filling up the Sun Bowl. And from 2017 to 2020, UTEP won a total of just five games. They're already 5-1 and one this season. And with a win over 2-3 and three Louisiana Tech tonight, the Miners could clinch a sixth win and bowl eligibility for the first time since 2014. Certainly wouldn't be easy. UTEP enter the evening as six-and-a-half point underdogs. The Miners also winless versus Louisiana Tech since 2004, trying to snap that streak in addition to getting bowl eligible. They came out like gangbusters. First drive, Gavin Hardison swings it out to Jacob Cowan. Can't tackle this man. He's got eight catches over 160 yards on the evening. That for a first down. Later in the drive, Deion Hankins, the Parkland graduate. They call him the tank, and you can see why. In for six on the Miners' first drive, they take a seven to nothing lead. How about the First Louisiana Tech drive on third down. Austin Candle sacked by Jadrian Taylor. Taylor had three and a half sacks in the first half, forcing a Bulldogs punt on that punt. Here is Justin Garrett. Sheds a tackle, gets outside, and he's off to the races. Down the sideline, 36 yards. Can't uh, choreograph a better start for the Miners than this. A little bit later, here's Hankins capitalizing on that punt return, his second touchdown of the evening. 14 to nothing, UTEP after one quarter of play, and those Miners fans filling the stands, absolutely loving it. Second quarter now, they were backed up in the end zone. UTEP defense coming up with a safety right there for two points on the scoreboard. It was 16 to three Miners at halftime. That is where we stand in the third quarter. Under five minutes left in the third, still 16 to three. UTEP looking good, folks. They can keep this rolling. They will be six and one on the season. We'll have full coverage tomorrow on KTSM.